What's up guys? Uh, learning with Rich here. So in this exercise, uh, we are going to learn how to create lighting circuits with wire. Alright, so in this exercise, we're going to add electrical equipment for the distribution systems in our plan. Although the connections uh, between this type of equipment are not typically shown on plans, so you need to create a logical connections to define the topology. Alright? So in this exercise, we are going to become more familiar with the wiring settings and then create lighting uh, circuitry and add wiring as the circuits are created. So adding wiring actually to add in a project is an optional, but we are going to do that. All right. So the first thing that we're going to do is uh, let me just open my power plan here. Uh, power plan, uh, power design. Let me open the level two, and then voila, uh, what I'm gonna do is, I'm going to add a panel board. Okay, so we're going to add an equipment. Okay, so I'm gonna zoom in here on room two two zero or space two two zero in our electrical room, and the reason why I changed that to power plan uh, view because this is the right view wherein you want to show your panel boards, okay? So this is where we are going to place it inside the electrical uh, electrical room, okay? So how to do that? So how to add a panel board? So just go to the systems and then look for the electrical and then just look for the electrical equipment. So that's it, okay? So you just need to click that one. So let's say, for example, um, I want to add here. So let me just check the properties. I want to add a 208 MCB lighting and appliance panel board surface uh, hosted. Okay, so let's say I want a 100 amps uh, panel board. So I'm going to select this one. And then since we are going to put this on the wall, so by default, place on vertical face is already selected, which is what we're going to use. So I'm going to hover my pointer to the wall and then place my panel boards. That's it. Very simple. Okay, and then I'm going to select here, modify. And then if you're going to select the panel board that we just placed, so you can see that there's already a system distribution that is already uh, applied to our panel board here, which is 120 over 208Y. If you remember, your distribution system can be set on your electrical settings. So you can go to the electrical settings or you can type ES, and then you can look for distribution settings or distribution systems. And then from here, you'll be able to see all the distribution systems that is already created. And of course, you can also create that one. Okay, so let me just cancel this one. So if I select my panel board here, so let's say I want to change the uh, maximum number of single pole breakers. So let's say instead of 12, I want to make this uh, 20. So I'm going to type 20 and then I just type or I just press enter to apply it. Okay, then another um, best practice that you can do is to add here a panel name. Okay, so you always put a panel name. So I'm just going to type here. So let's say this is my okay, so Power panel dash to be okay, right? So that's the name that I would like for this one, and then I'll just select here apply. Okay, so it's not that difficult to place your electrical equipment. Okay, so let's say I want to add another electrical equipment somewhere here. So same procedure. Um, I'm going to select this panel board. So right click. I'll select create similar. And then I'm going to change the type here. So instead of 208 volts, I'm going to look for, uh, let's say, 480 MCB. Okay, so I'm going to use 100 amps as well. So I select this one, and then I'm going to place it here. Select, and then modify. Okay, now again, if you want to see this in the 3D view, you can click one of the panel board, and then you can select. Uh, selection box and then just select modify to deselect it then right click zoom to fit there you go okay so there's our panel 
So I, if you want to see the architectural model as well, so you just go to the properties, change the discipline. Instead of mechanical, you can change that to coordination. Okay. There you go. So you can adjust the section box. Okay. So you can see what's happening inside the room. So this is the two panels that we have placed so this is the 208 and then this is the 480 volts panel that we just placed right now what i'm going to do is i'm going to select again the power plan just for us to be able to see and change the property of our panel board here so let's say i'm going to select again the panel board again you can see that there is already a sign distribution system for that so i'm going to change here the maximum number of single pole breakers as well so let's say i'm gonna change that to 20 and then uh, let's put a name here so i'm gonna type uh lp dash 2b as well okay and then i'll just select here apply so let's say lp stands for lighting panel and then pp stands for power panel something like that so that's how i name my uh, panel boards okay so I just select here apply and then I just select here modify. So here on my lighting panel, so this is where I want to connect the lighting fixtures and then the lighting devices that I will be creating later on or the circuits that I will be creating later on for my lighting panel or I mean lighting fixtures and lighting devices. So I want that to connect to this lighting panel here. Okay. So how to do that? So that is what we're going to do next. So we are going to add a circuit with wire. Okay, so let me just open my level 2 lighting plan. I will be working now on my lighting plan. So I'm going to zoom in. So this is the two panels that we have placed. And then this is where we are going to work on space 221 on our instruction space here. All right, so what, what, uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a circuit. So to do that, I'm going to select all the elements inside the space here. Okay. I select that one. And then I'm going to select your filter. Okay, so as you can see, these are the categories that I have selected in this area here. So I have four electrical fixtures. And then I have lighting devices. And then I have eight lighting fixtures so one two three four five six seven eight and of course i have the space i have six electrical fixtures sorry so six so one two three four five six and then i have one lighting device which is uh, this one here and then the eight lighting fixtures and then the space okay so what i want to do is i'm going to select check none I only want to select the lighting device and then the lighting fixtures. And then I just select your OK. All right. So after we have selected that, so there is an option here, Create Systems Panel. You can click the power to create a power circuit for the selected electrical devices. So I'm going to select this one. And there you go. So we just created now our circuit. Okay, so as you can see these blue lines there, graphics. So this graphic shows the created circuit, which is the logical connection between the elements, between the lighting fixtures and then the lighting device. Now, I want to connect this uh, lighting fixtures and then the lighting device to my panel here. So that's why I'm going to select select panel. So while I'm still selecting the circuit, so I'm going to select select panel. So just click that one. And then I'm now going to assign that circuit to this panel here. So I will now click this one. And there you go. So you will notice that it's now pointing to my panel here. So these red sketch graphics show the logical circuit with the home run, which is that arrow pointing toward the panel here. Okay. Now, so let's say, for example, I want to generate a wire here. Again, while the circuit is still selected, so I'm going to select here arc wire. You can do it manually 
okay you can go to the systems and then you can put a wire there you can do that okay but you can also automatically do that by selecting uh, arc wire here so just click that one and there you go so you just created now your wire so i select your modify you see so you can still uh, modify your wire here so you can click that so you can click that one if you want to tidy up your wiring right so you can tidy up that so that it's nice to so that it has a nice representation so as you can see you also have three tick marks there Okay, you can fix that you can click you can drag okay however you want for you to be able to show your wiring nicely to your client or to your team members right okay let me just select this one okay something like that just edit this one edit this one then there's the home run that is pointing to my panel here. Okay, so let's say, for example, um, I want to add another switch somewhere here because we already have a switch here. So I want to add another one here. Okay, so to do that, I go to the systems, device, I go to the lighting, and then click the type selector and then look for, let's say, three-way switch. I'm going to select this one. So this is a wall-hosted family. That's why place on vertical face. That is what I want to use. And then I'm just going to place it somewhere here. Okay, so click and then modify. Again, you can click that switch if you want to change the elevation of that. Okay, and again, if you want to see that in the 3D view, just click that switch. Click here the selection box. And then, it, uh, and then uh, modify to deselect, right click, zoom to fit. Okay, and then there's your switch. Okay, so you can just adjust that. Just let's see the room. There you go. Let's see how it looks like. I'm gonna move up. See those, the lighting fixtures in that room. There's our receptacles. Where is the other switch? There's the other switch. Okay. So now what I would like to do is I want to select this switch here. I want to change the type of this. So I select this. I click the drop down arrow and then I'll just want to make that also three-way switch. Okay. So just select that one. And there you go. Then modify. So if I go to the lighting plan, so it's now already changed to three-way switch. Okay. So now let's say, for example, um, this switch that I have added, I want this to be added to the circuit because if I'm going to select the, any of the lighting fixtures inside this room or even this lighting device, if I click that one, you will see that it's already assigned to a panel, right? You can see there the circuit number, okay? And then you can see there the electrical data. So same with, your, with the lighting fixture, if I click that one. So you can see that it's already assigned to LP2B, Okay, and then there's the circuit number. Circuit number, that is what will appear if you're going to tag your wiring. I'm going to do that later on, okay? But let us just add this uh, lighting device to the circuit, okay? So to do that, what I'm going to do is uh, I'm going to click and then right-click. And then there's an option here, add to circuit. So I'm going to select add to circuit. And then I'm going to select one of the lighting fixture that is already part of the circuit or the lighting device. Okay, so any of the lighting fixtures that is already part of the system or any of the lighting device that is already part of the system. So I'm going to click one of them. So just click. And there you go. So you just added now your switch to the circuit and then again there's an option here convert to wire i'm going to select arc wire just click that one and there you go so i'm now going to select here modify and then let me just select that one let me just uh, make it look nice there you go okay and then let's say for example um 
you want to change the number of tick wire so you can also do that okay so let's say on my uh, 221 here so i'm going to uh, select all the wires here okay so i'm going to just click one by one so uh, aside from using the ones that we did a while ago instead of doing that so you can actually uh, use uh, selecting it one by one so you can click one hold control and then you can just select these wires right okay and then after that you can change the properties here let's say the hot conductors so instead of one so I'm gonna make this two and then I select here apply and then you can now see that the tick marks already changed or already updated right okay so there you go so basically that's how you add an electrical equipment and then create a circuitry or create a power circuit or lighting circuit to your model okay so let's say I'm gonna put a tag here like what I have said earlier so I select tag by category and then I'm not gonna put a leader line so I'm gonna uncheck that and then you see if I click so every time I put a tag so it tells me that that particular wires they are on circuit number one right so I'll just select here modify and then I can just move this tag somewhere here okay so that they will know that this circuit that I have here is uh, circuit number one and it's connected to this panel here so if you want to select the whole circuit just hover your pointer to one of the wire and then do not click just hover your pointer over one of the wire and then press tab and there you go it will now highlight the connection and then click okay and then it will tell you that that is lp 2 b okay right so if i click the wire so again you can see here the property of that wire and then you can also see here the the wire sizes okay so hopefully you learned something from this video if you have any comments questions or suggestions you can put it on the comment section below and i'll get back to you as soon as i can so next video we are going to create lighting circuits without wire okay thank you for watching have a nice day